What are you guys? Can you see it? I really messed up this time. You can almost see it there. There you go. You can start to see it now. We were just messing around over here, skidding logs, and then I had the bright idea of, I was pushing over the three tree combo and I just kept going instead of backing out. And then next thing I know, here I am. So we basically stopped because we thought we weren't making any progress. So we're gonna get the uh, excavator down here once we get one. And then we'll pull this bad boy out. Basically it's high centered on, uh, on some logs. So we can't get enough traction to get it out. I'll show you the... There's the logs we got high centered on right there. I think you can see it. Yep. Anyways, we got stuck onto that. Can't go forward because we don't have enough traction. Can't go backwards because the back is dug down too much. And the hydraulics don't have enough to pull it out of the, the ditch. So we tried using these chains and come along, or chains and chain tighteners, but it's just, we, we're not really getting anywhere with it. So we're gonna bring the excavator down here. We're getting, anyways, small stump got me stuck. Mainly the only thing hurt here is my ego and my pride, you know, but I can't say that hurts too much either because I've only been an operator for, oh, was it two months now, three months, not that long. So not that bad, not that big of a deal. We'll get in with the excavator and pull it out. I know some of you guys have been there. Chime in in the comment section. Tell me about your first time getting stuck with your dozer or your excavator. I got in there pretty good, didn't I? <laughs> uh, yes, we did. That thing is like, it's, it's just sinking into this hole. Like it just can't get out of that hole, you know? And then there was water in there basically. I mean, this ground is really solid, but down that far, it was just getting into water. Cause this mud was like so soupy. You can see that it's cracked now that it came up to the top and has dried out. But <sighs> we're supposed to have good weather until Thursday evening. So kind of the plan is Wednesday we're gonna pick up the excavator. Thursday we'll come down here. Hopefully we'll get this out Thursday. Cause I need this back into town before Monday cause I might have a potential job lined up for Monday for the dozer. So this is what happens when your personal life gets in the way of your business life. Kind of creates problems. So things you got to think about. I mean, look at this thing. <laughs> it is, this track is off the ground. This is what we call flex, guys. This is some nice flex right here. Anyways, that's where we're at right now. Chime in and tell me what you guys think. I'm sure there are gonna be some some trolls on there, you know. Yeah, I'm not the best operator yet. I'm working at it though. Anyways, guys, catch you later.
Okay guys, I got you on the chest mount. Let's see how good this does for stabilization. What not. Okay, I want you to walk this log right here, Grandpa. Yep. Yeah, you can use that if you like. I push them off. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm gonna go chop this one. It's over here. operator I'm talking about <laughs> okay now hold it
know, let's get it downhill, so let's roll it that way. Tool did come in handy. Yes. This is a teeter totter right here. Good old fashioned teeter totter. I don't have enough weight this way. Yeah, that ends thicker on the tree. <laughs> Anyways, 